All right, this is just like Daniel that was thrown into the den of a lion. But yet, he came out alive, not a scratch. I want us to just listen to that story so that we can have a view of what God is doing in our midst. All right, just in summary, Sister Sophia, on Sunday, how did it happen? On Sunday, after the close of service, I left church. I took a tricycle. You left church? Yes. Which church? Worry Central. Satellite. Okay, she worships at our um, Worry Central Church. The master's is Worry Central Church. That's where she worships. Hallelujah. All right. So, I took a tricycle from the Worry Central Church. I was coming to airport church, actually. So, inside the before I got there, a guy and a girl was already inside, so I was the last person. On getting inside, as we were coming, she brought out an oil perfume and told me to help her smell it, so I can tell her the one that smells better, that she wants to give one to her sister and take one for herself. So I did as she asked, because I had no, no thinking that she has those bad intentions. So, immediately I perceived it. I felt dizzy. That was, I felt dizzy. I was saying things, but I could not hear myself. That was just all I could remember till they took me to a place I don't even know. I can't recall that place. If they asked me to go back to that place, I don't know. So, when we got there, two girls were already inside. They brought me inside as well. They removed the blindfold and they told me to sit. So the, the two guys, the two guys, that's the rider and the other guy, they had to go inside. When they got inside, they, they came back and took those two guests that were already there inside. I, I heard I, their scream. She yes. said she heard their scream. When they took them inside, the, just, well, the only thing she heard was that they screamed out. And there's nothing that would have happened at that very point. They went to kill those persons. They killed them right there while she was in, even in that place. That means... The next time they are coming out, something else is going to be happening. So what happened after? So after that, they came out again. And this time they were coming to pick me as well. So as I was standing up, because I was sitting, as I was standing up, my phone fell from my pocket. Yes, so it drew the attention. They had to go and pick the phone. So when he picked the phone, he pressed my power button. That was when he saw our pastor's picture and shouted fire and threw the phone, phone down on the floor. So the other guy was like, what was happening? He said there's fire on our phone. He had to go and confirm himself. He picked up the phone, pressed the power button as well and saw the same thing and shouted fire. Fire! And threw my phone away. So they, had to, they started arguing. They went inside. The room, the, the room they came out from, they went inside and they started arguing. They were arguing among themselves. Who brought me? How did I get here? That I'm going to cause trouble for them. That my presence here is a distraction to them. My God. So a, another guy came out with them. This, that, they were tearing now. So the last guy that came out, on seeing me, he shouted fire, that there's fire on my head. That is seeing fire on my head. So he told them, he said there's a force covering now. There's a power covering now. We cannot alter. So it's better you take her back to wherever you brought her from. So they had to go back inside, and this time the argument was even, it was, it was heated up, like the argument was more than the first time. They were just confused. They started speaking language I could not understand. They were talking amongst themselves. They had to leave me there till Monday morning. That was when the driver had to come back. When the driver came back, the, the guy that saw fire on my head, he came outside and asked, what, what was I still doing there? That they are causing more problems for him, that the longer I stay, the longer the problem is going to continue with them, that they should please come and take me out. So that was when the driver came out. When he came out, he asked me, he said, where do I worship? I said, the master's place in Tanash. So he said, who is our pastor? I said, Pastor Korede and Pastor Esther Kumaya. So he said, he said, this is the first time in five years that he has seen something like this. That they, they normally do this ritual every year, like the first Sunday of every October. They sacrificed 10 guests. I was supposed to be the number 10. God, God saved me. So he said they, they, that the church I'm attending is a living church, that there's God in my church. He said, hope I'll be able to remember where, where he took me from. I said, yes, that when I get there, I'll remember the place. I can locate my house from there. He said, OK, that I'm going home now, that I don't have any use for them. Wow. So that was how he blindfolded me again and took me out. 
Yes, after about 30 minutes drive, we got to DSC Express. That was when you removed the blindfold and told me that it's going to drop me at airport road. That hope from there I can go home. I said, yes, I can go home. He took me there, dropped me at airport road. I had to go home from there. I just give God all the glory. Father, we give you all the glory. Look at this beautiful daughter of Zion this evening. Imagine this one will have been killed for nothing. That means they already killed several before she got there. And she met two. They took them in. The only thing she heard was their cry. They are somebody's daughter. Maybe they are still looking for them now. Saying that they went somewhere. Or maybe saying that they are coming from church. And then, because she sat down, they were coming for her. So they said, stand up. As she stood up, her phone dropped. Her phone dropped. And their leader was angry. How can you not have taken her phone from her till now? And picked her phone and pressed the power button. And then my picture came out. And as she he saw the picture, he said, fire, 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 fire. And drop it. And then the other one, he said to the other one, go and pick it up. They pick it up. Fire, fire, fire. And then the third one came out and said, there's no longer phone. There is even fire on her head now. Kata, kata, enter into the place. Kata, kata, enter into the place. I am a prophet. Everyone sacrificing human beings. I command instantly they be sacrificed. Amen. 